G'day everyone and welcome to another Star Wars figure review. Uh, next up for you today, I'm going to give you a look at a couple of Biker Scouts. Um, this one here is from the Power of the Jedi range. Back in around 2000. And this one here is identical. It was released in the Power of the Jedi range and also the OTC range. But this one here is actually the Endor Adat Walker pack-in figure. And the difference with that is it has the flip-up mask. Um, the vintage OTC Biker Scout and also the commemorative Tim Biker Scouts are better than these. I have both of those and I'll give you a look at those some other time. But I just wanted to give you a look at these ones today. Um, as you can see, this one has the dirty boots. And it's also got blast marks all over it as well. Um, by today's standards, the articulation is pretty poor. Uh, they've just got the uh, swivel neck and swivel shoulders, no articulations to the elbows or wrists, a swivel waist and swivel hips, no articulation in the knees or ankles. Like I said, the uh, vintage one and the commemorative tin one are definitely superior to these ones. But still, I quite like these ones too. Um, it's got a working holster down there on its ankle, so I'm sure you can tell. And it just comes with the one small Biker Scout blaster. For a rating out of 10, uh, I'm going to give these about a 7. I guess maybe 7 for that one. I was going to give this one a little more because of its flip up mask, but I guess. The dirt and the blaster marks make them about even, really. So I'd give them both around 7, 7.5 if I was feeling generous. Um, you can pick these up at pretty good prices on eBay, so you can build quite an army of biker scouts at a pretty good price. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed looking at the Power of the Jedi um, biker scout and also the Endor at that walker biker scout and I'll look there at its mask up so anyway, I'll be back soon to do some more reviews so until then may the force be with you